What's up guys? It's X-Man and Co here today. We're going to be your host. We're going to make something amazing. Yes, you guessed it right. It's going to be lamb shanks. Not any lamb shanks. It's going to be easy, but full of flavor. It's going to be amazing. We've made lamb shank before and that was in a wood fired oven. Now guys, if you don't have that, doesn't matter. This is so easy and it's delicious. It's a Christmas dish. Christmas lunch, you can use that whenever you like. Whenever you have special friends over, they're going to love this. Now, if you want to go check out our dish in the wood-fired oven, go check it out, hop over to our channel, have a look at that. These ingredients here in front of us is all we're going to need, and it's very straightforward. So let me introduce you guys to all the ingredients. As always, they will be listed in the description below for you to go check out later. We've got some Greek salad dressing over here, some fennel seeds, an onion, a lemon, and then freshly ground pepper, sea salt mixed with some rosemary, then some oregano, if you can, go for fresh. We don't have that available today. And then some rosemary sprigs. Guys, the star of the show, some lamb shanks. We've got a variety of sizes here. They're going to be amazing. Let's start this cook. It's so easy, so straightforward. You guys won't believe it. So we've got three lamb shanks here. We're just going to place them inside the spot that we have. Now, guys, you can use a poiki if you want. It doesn't really matter. And remember, all these recipes that we share with you, you can do them in your kitchen as well if it's a rainy day or whatever. We've got a rainy day here, but we're still cooking. Next, we're going to sort out our onion. Now, guys, you just want to get rid of the ends. In half, remove the skin. You want to quarter the onions as well, so maybe just go like that. Third, whatever works for you. Keep some of them big. The others, you can always cut in smaller pieces. So we've got some big pieces, some smaller pieces, and straight into the pot with that. It's time for the lemon. Cut the ends off, and guys, just caught it from there. So just cut it like that, there you go. Quarters also into the pot. Next, we're gonna add some fennel seeds. It's entirely up to you how much you wanna do. We just wanna do a little bit of fennel seeds, maybe a teaspoon. A little bit more maybe, that's perfect. In with the pepper guys, freshly ground pepper. Also once again decide how much. Salt, we've got salt, sea salt that's infused with rosemary. And then some oregano. And if you guys get your hands on the fresh ones, definitely go for that. Fresh rosemary sprigs. Smash them, get those flavors to pop. And there you go, just spread them all over this dish. Guys, we're near the end, the next ingredient is our Greek salad dressing. So we're just gonna use a whole bottle, mix it a little bit, and then obviously open it. That will help. In with our sauce, our dressing, and just make sure everything is nicely covered. I know a lot of you won't believe this, but this is the recipe, the dish is ready. We started our fire about 15 minutes ago. We set it up for indirect cook, because this is an indirect cook. We need to have an oven-like situation, like in your kitchen, and guys, our recipe is ready, our dish is ready, it needs to go to the fire, so let's do that. Just a quick tip for the guys that smoke, you can see our smoke, if I put my hand there, it's clear, or light blue, which is perfect. If it's white, guys, that's going to bring us some bad smoke. Today we're cooking with a closed lid, so that's not going to interfere. We're in 160 degrees Celsius, so this cook is ready to start. So we're going to open our lid, and we're just going to add this right in the middle of this BGE, there you go, and you can do it in your Weber or inside your kitchen, it doesn't really matter. Close the lid, and we're going to do this for about two and a half hours. Should be between two and three hours, depending on the size of your lamb shank that you're using. See you guys in a bit. We're still going strong, 160 degrees Celsius, it's been two hours. We're not expecting the meat to be ready yet, but you want to feel for tenderness. So let's have a look what it looks like. There's a slight resistance, as you guys can see, so it's almost there, but not quite where we want it. So we're going to give it another half an hour, and then we're moving on to the next step. We're on the three-hour mark, guys, and now it's time to take this spot off. So we're just going to move it aside. And we're going to make sure that our heat source gets bumped up to about 200 degrees Celsius. 
So let's just have a quick look at what this beautiful dish looks like. Have a look at that. That's amazing. Let's just do the test here. Look how soft that is, guys. It just falls apart. Perfect. So we're going to open our vents totally just to make sure we get as much heat as we can. Then this dish is going to go back into the BGE for about 15 minutes. At this stage, you want to try and brown it a little bit. Now, obviously, in your oven with a grill, it's going to work much better, but we still need to do this. It smells amazing. See you guys just now. 15 minutes later, guys, it's time to take this dish off. It smells amazing, and it looks amazing. Guys, look at that. That looks absolutely divine. Beautiful. A little bit of sauce, and we ate for gray. Some greens, and this is going to look absolutely divine. Look at that, guys. We got a dish. We just need to taste it. Let's dig in. Look at that. It just breaks away. That's amazing. Look at that. Boys and girls, it's time to taste. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. This is... Wow, it's amazing. Huh. Try it out, guys. You have to try it out. The acidity is just perfect. Salt and pepper. Everything's in there. I won't change a thing. Easy, straightforward. Three and a half hours later, in total, I would say that's with the prep. Magnificent. Guys, you know the story. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Shh. This is good. Try it out. Wow. You have to try this. Just taste this. It is out of this world. There you go. Amazing. Go says it's amazing. Jump out. Go get some lamb shanks. Make it.